Hi there everybody! My name is Zaza and I'm here to tell you how to use the classroom library. So, what have we got here? Mmm, we've got a box of books. But it's more than just books, it's a whole library in a box. The box is great fun. It's got all sorts of books to read. Some of them are easy, some of them are a bit difficult. But they're all great fun for your learners to take home and read with family members. There are three parts to the library in a box. There's a poster which has all the book covers on it. There's a book management chart where you record each book that has been taken out by each learner to read at home. You'll need to put the poster and the chart on a wall at the right height for the learners to see them. And then there are the books themselves, the really fun part of the library in a box. Now, we're going to learn how to use it. One by one, each child follows all four steps. Step 1. Choose. Get each learner to choose a book from the book display poster which shows all the books in the box. Step 2. Find. Once they've decided on the book, you take it out of the box. You can find it quite easily by matching the colour sticker and its number with the book display poster. Step 3. Pack. You then put the book in a plastic bag with a reading card and hand it to the learner. Step 4. Record. You need to keep track of which book has been taken by each learner using the book management chart. Let's show you how that works. If Sipo is taking out a book called Vula Vala, which has a red sticker, you put a red sticker on the chart next to the title of the book under Sipo's name. If Gina is taking out a book called Bala, which has a yellow sticker, you put a yellow sticker on the chart next to the title of the book under Gina's name and so on. See how easy it is? But don't forget, you need to do three more things before your work is done. 1. Encourage them to take the books home. Keep them safe in the book bags and read them. 2. Suggest they can read their books with a parent or a granny or a sibling or a friend from next door. If there is time, they can even read them in class when they finish their work. Remind them to sign their reading cards. 3. When they come back to school, have a chat with each learner about their book and share with other learners what they loved about their book. Oh, and one last thing. Remind learners if they all bring their books back, everyone gets a turn to read all the books. Have fun!